G'day folks. Well, it's, uh, since we're in a bit of a heat wave at the moment, I figured it's time for some HVAC work. Uh, I've got my split system working its ass off keeping the shed cool. And I've got this uh, package rooftop come, I guess, any, any purpose uh, package uh, heat pump from Brad. He picked this up across the road from his old work and uh, apparently it was working fine. It just needs a really thorough coil clean. Uh, they replaced it stupidly. They should have actually uh, put condenser cleaner or got Brad to actually clean it before they considered replacing it, but they did. Uh, unfortunately, it's three phase, but I've got an idea. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to change the compressor. Single phase. I've already got a uh, whole pile of single phase compressors, new and used. So I picked out the closest one, which is Danfoss Manurop or a Manurop MT18JA5BVE um, output CC's is about half that of the Copeland that's in there but the actual kilowatt cooling rating is about the same it's the closest I've got without going three phase again which is pointless I might as well leave the original compressor in there so just for shits and giggles I'm going to drop that in and see what happens uh, the unit's already been degassed because they had to crane it by law, if you're going to crane an air conditioner off a roof, it has to be degassed just in case you drop it. Uh, so that makes my life easy. This one here was charged with uh, nitrogen or helium, just as normal. So I've already tried my king valves on it, and that works. So it's going to have king valve fittings, fully removable. Um, obviously, you've got recovery pump and everything on hand. Uh, refrigerant on hand, essentially. It's all come out of brand new new old stock condensers, I've had probably 200 of them over the past few years. That's excluding any good second hand ones. Like this one's a brand new old stock, never been used. I was looking at that compressor but it's a little bit small, it's a standard Mitsubishi rotary. Again it might be close to capacity, it'd be interesting to try and turn that into a rotary heat pump, but still. Uh, this is capacity is 9.5 kilowatt, I think that one's about 8 at the most. Um, amps phase power cooling uh, yeah cooling's 8.39 heating is 10.5 it's actually surprisingly close this is made in 04 brand new 10 years old very close again just like that compressor there the capacities are pretty damn close it's all R22 it's all heat pump so that with the appropriate indoor unit would be the same as that, but this is a package. So there's an evaporator box and everything in there as well. Fan's been replaced at one stage. Yeah, I'll just strip out all the three phase controls and everything and just go for single phase stuff. Again, 240 volts, it's got a neutral line, 240 volt um, fan with its own cap built in. The old one's still in there, but that one's got it on top of the control box or the terminal box, I should say. Pressure controls and things are going to stay the same. Defrost timer will stay the same. I just want to work out how to get that out without having to desolder or debraze all the um, reversing valve, which looks like it's been done at some stage. Looking at the messy work on it, I'd say it's been replaced at one point. Anyway, let's get the top, top off. And uh, yeah, ignore the giant lithium battery for now. That's an autopsy. It's lithium ion, but it'll still be interesting to uh, see what happens especially in winter time and a bit of overcharging. Oh, this thing's nicely built. This is an Australian made unit as well, by the way. This isn't American or uh, import, Asian. This is uh, Australian built. Massively over condensed. Uh, what does it say? Braemar Limited. Pretty sure it's Australian. Yeah. Pretty sure they're Australian. At least the old the old Braemar stuff was. The newer stuff's probably import, but yeah. I was wondering where the filter dryer was. Fairly accessible, I like that. There's so much dirt and debris in the bottom down there. Major condensers, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six layers thick. Or six rows thick, each of them. That's pretty cool. Fan's been replaced at one point. See, duct taped capacitor and 
Yeah, someone's replaced the blower at one point, which also needs a clean. The evaporator's tiny compared with the condensers, but that's always a good thing. You can charge the thing up with a fair bit of liquid. Mind you, the coil loops a half inch, so it's a fair bit of uh, liquid and uh, gas flow. I hope this compressor's big enough, the one that I want to put in. Hmm. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Definitely needs a good clean. There's a defrost probe, defrost switch sensor. Fan's been replaced at one point. They did a, did a pretty reasonable job of it. The corrosion and breakdown on the top edge of this coil, but nothing serious. The spider matrix down there. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Harry Harry. You're going to get evicted by coil cleaner one day. The front of the box is missing, but I've got a dozen of these, so I'll just replace the whole thing. New cable gland going in. Conduit. Nice and easy. Hard part, getting that out without breaking anything off the cond condenser or the evaporator. Suction line comes straight across here and down into the coil. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of uh, bi-flow filter dryers that'll suit this on the shelf. I'm not 100% sure. There's possum poop in here as well. Yuck. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I had a bit of a look around and I have liquid line dryers that'll suit this, but this needs a uh, bi-flow since it is a heat pump and another interesting thing I noticed is it's not even it doesn't even run a uh, TX valve system and check valve system it's just a straight capillary tube which is what that is it's just two capillary lines that's it like there's nothing over on that side it's just two cap tubes going into the coil it's kind of simple I like simple but still I was expecting a uh, TX valve system oh well Either way, it's an experimental system using Reclaim R22, so if it doesn't work, I just get it recovered um, according to law and all that sort of stuff, and uh, job done. I mean, I basically got it to either use, sell, or scrap, and since three-phase units are pretty hard to get rid of at the moment, particularly old ones, um, yeah, what do you do? I might as well mess around with it and see what I can make of it. If anything, I get some really nice coils out of it. Yeah, yeah. I'll deal with that another day. I've got work tomorrow, so thanks for watching. If you've got any input on it, let me know. Um, pretty sure the compressor that I'm dropping in is, well, horsepower wise, it seems to be higher power, but I'm not 100% sure. It's really hard cross referencing Danfoss with Copeland, at least according to my charts. That's a model CRK3 0325 TDF. And its actual CC displacement is 70, 74 or 75.8 cc's. This one here is half of that, but the kilowatt capacity is actually one kilowatt above the Danfoss or the Copeland one. So I'm not 100% sure. And I have seen these in some pretty powerful little units, so it should work. Actual running amps about the same. Obviously, this one's a single phase one. I've got to work out what caps to use. But, yeah, it's just a newer model. This one's made in 2002. Uh, anyway, um, it's going to be a fairly interesting project. I've never... I can't say I've ever done this before on a system this big. I've done it with a um, commercial, like a little drink fridge, just replacing the little black black compressor in the bottom of it, but not a big, um, not a big, big uh, package unit like this. So, yeah, hope everyone enjoys it, and uh, thanks for watching.